I love. All right, we're now moving on slightly, staying in the same story, but we're now looking at a different aspect of the same story, that of India's own position in the UNSC and the conversations that carry on around India's possible permanent status as a UNSC member. This was the External Affairs Minister's statement. He said, all of us are aware that the question of equitable representation on and an increase in membership of the Security Council has been on the UNGA agenda for three decades. While the debate on reforms meandered aimlessly, the real world has changed dramatically. And connected to that, we're going very quickly to the next breaking. This is just another side of the same story. We'll bring you this and then we'll connect. All right, the France, the UK, these are two nations that have reiterated their support for India as a permanent UNSC member. India said that the United Nations Security Council should reform to reflect the current global order. That's an argument that India has been making for a little while now. Now, we're going to go over very quickly to my colleague Abhishek, but first take a look at what the External Affairs Minister had to say. We support an expansion of the Security Council to take into account the emergence of new powers that have the will and the ability to shoulder the responsibility of a permanent presence on the Security Council. France thus supports the candidacies of Germany, Brazil, India and Japan as permanent members. The Security Council must, as, as others have said, become more representative of the world today. And the UK has long called for its expansion in both the permanent and non-permanent categories. As the UK Foreign Secretary publicly reiterated this week, we support new permanent seats for Brazil, Germany, India and Japan and permanent African representation. So congratulate you and the Indian Mission on a very successful eighth term on the Security Council. Your voice in this chamber is necessary. And the United Arab Emirates reiterates its endorsement of India's bid for permanent membership of a reformed Security Council. All right, let's go over to my colleague Abhishek right now to understand more. Abhishek, as our audiences know, China is the only country which has not yet supported India's bid to become a member of the UNSC. There's a lot of historical context necessary over here. Can you bring us that? What is the story around India's bid to become a permanent member of the UNSC? And when S. J. Shankar says that there's a need to revise the current model to make it updated with the present, what does he mean? Uh, so, you know, the United States Security Council is not reflecting the current order of the world. It's really India's chance of the India uh, has one of the largest population of the world, uh, the third largest economy in the world. Uh, at the same time, France is the third largest economy in the world. Having okay, we'll connect back with my colleague Abhishek in just a sec. Let me bring you more context here. Um, remember, as we just told you, China is the only country in the UNSC that has not yet supported India's bid to become a member of the UNSC. Russia has been uh, particularly vocal in the past. Now, I do want to bring you more when it comes to India's own work in the UNSC. At the present, the UNSC comprises of five permanent members and ten non-permanent -mem member countries, which are elected for a two-year term by the General Assembly of the UN. So that's, that's the... Uh, term that is coming to an end for India as we speak. India was one of the non-permanent member countries that had just finished its two-year term. As we told you though, the UN otherwise consists of five permanent members. They're Russia, the UK, China, France and the US. Which is why we were highlighting right now that Russia, the UK, France and the US have all supported India becoming a permanent member as a concept. It's China that has stood against it. Now, it's important also to note that what is the power of the UNSC? It is this, the country that is part of a permanent member list, so a country that is either Russia, the UK, China, France or the US, each of these countries can actually veto any resolution 
that's passed by the rest of the UNSC. Now, let me go very quickly uh, to Abhishek for more context. Abhishek, as we were telling our audiences, the call that's coming from within India at least and has been over the last few years is that there needs to be a change in the membership of the permanent list. Uh, there's been a call that it needs to reflect the contemporary global reality. You've effectively had India, Brazil, South Africa, Germany and Japan all say that they want to become permanent members of the UNSC. Abhishek, I want to understand from you, uh, since this is a story we've heard over the last few years, I want to understand, are India's chances growing or because China remains a strong opponent, you know, is it, is it looking the same way it has always? Uh, so, but to a while, China can be a strong opponent of India's permanent residency. Uh, there has been a, a common uh, a consensus uh, among all the permanent members or the temporary members or the larger uh, group of United Nations that there should be uh, a reform in the United Nations Security, Security Council and other uh, lateral organizations also that, that is part of this United Nations because uh, 70, 80 years, the uh, world has seen a lot of change happening. Uh, now the concerns, the challenges, the problems that India faces uh, were not part of India's uh, uh, regional or, or global security uh, back in 1940s when this United Nations security, United Nations was formed. Also, now Japan has arrived at the world stage. South Africa has become as a major economy. So, uh, terrorism is one of the issues where India has regularly been a victim of cross-border terrorism. So, in the, so in order to raise such issues and in order to uh, you know guide world politics at, in a way where rule-based orders are. are uh, respected uh, concerns of uh, other parties, other uh, part of the world is also respected. Something uh, that needs to be uh, be part of United Nations Security Council. You see, uh, it is an irony that the one of the largest uh, uh, continent, Africa, does not have any inclusion in United Nations Security Council. The three countries, uh, France, UK, uh, and uh, USA, uh, they are part of one Western bloc. And they remain at the seat of United Nations Security Council as permanent members. So, uh, in a in a way, uh, the the trend will always be towards Western narrative, which which is uh, led by US and NATO. So, uh, the the concern, the the challenges that other parts of the world faces does not get properly uh, addressed okay. or reflected in United Nations policy making or United Nations uh, approach. So, these are the the broad issues where uh, India and other in other right. uh, countries wants to have a reform in United Nations. Abhishek, thank you for that context. Let's take our audiences now 